Hi, my name is Patrick. Now, one of the key to crack the CAT con section is selection of questions. If you can select the right kind of questions, uh, the easy ones, and solve it, and leave the tough questions quickly, your work is half done. I mean, you should be able to crack the section. Now, this particular video is basically to tell you about strategy to select set questions. How do you select a con question? How do you decide the question is tough, easy, medium, etc.? So let's look at con section. I mean, most of the students in the exam cannot even solve half the questions. I mean, even if you solve maybe last year, if you had solved seven, eight questions, you would have got 95 percent there. That means even like 95 percent of the people are not able to solve one third of the questions. So yes, so selection of question becomes the key. You need to know which question to leave and which question to solve. Right. So selection of question becomes absolutely important in terms of cracking the section. So you need to be able to crack, uh, classify the questions as easy, medium, tough, immediate, and quickly. So I would normally say around 10 to 15 seconds. 15 seconds is quite a good time to be able to classify questions. So even if you spend on an average 15 seconds per question, for 22 questions, it will take five and a half minutes, which is a decent enough time to go through all the questions. Right. So yes, you need to be able to classify in that period. Now, how do you classify? So basically, you should ask three questions to yourself. I mean, do you understand the question concept? I mean, there's a question there, like a time for distance, you know time for distance, so you know the concept. But there's a concept on like cubic algebraic equation and you don't know about it, so you don't know the concept. Right? The second is, do I know how to solve it? But I can see the question time for distance, but I don't understand how to solve the questions. Or I could be able to, I know how to process the question, how to solve the question. Second. Third. Can I solve in a short period of time? I mean, will it take me a longer time to solve or will it take me a shorter time to solve? I mean, how long lengthy the questions? For example, some questions on permutation combination, which has many cases, will obviously take a longer time. Even if you are able to solve, it will take a long time. So based on this, how you answer these questions, you would classify them as me easy, medium, tough. So if you don't know the concept at all, cubic equation, I don't know about it, obviously it's tough. I don't know how to solve it. Very clear. You can leave the question directly. Okay, if it is yes for the first, but no for the second, and I know the concept time for distance, but I don't know how to solve the questions. It looks very complicated. Then you can classify it as medium or tough. It's too complicated, make it as tough. But if you feel that no, if I take some time and try to understand, maybe I'll be able to solve. You can keep it as medium. Right? And if it is yes for first, so I know the concept, I know how to solve it, but it'll take me a longer period of time to solve, put it as medium. Second out of solving, not the first stage of solving, put it as medium. So for yes for first two and no for last, medium. And last, if it is yes for all the three, I know the concept, I know how to solve it, and I can solve it quickly, it becomes easy questions. So this is how you classify the questions by asking these three questions. So if you're able to classify it well, you should be able to do well as far as the exam is concerned. Right? So practice this. I mean, in every practice question, focus on these questions to be asked. And once you do it in a practice session, maybe you can implement this in a section test and then maybe in the mock. Once you're comfortable with it, it should automatically come. In the initial, you may take a little more time to classify the question. But once you get used to it, the time required should reduce. Right? All the best. Thank you.